Hey guys, welcome to Living the Logic. This is Manish Narayan, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Python and get started with programming with Python. All right, so let's get started. Uh, you see in front of me, I have the python.org homepage. Um, this is where you can download Python, the latest version, whether you're using a Mac, Windows, or any other operating system. So in this case, I'm using Windows. I'm going to click on Download Python. This, in this case, the version is 3.13.1, right? As soon as it's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and install it. So I'm going to double click the executable, right? It's going to pop up with uh, install Python 3.13.1, right? And uh, you got to make sure you check off add Python exe to path, so your path variables, so that way uh, Python is seen across your environment. So I'm going to check that off. All right, and here I'm going to click on uh, install now. All right, so now it should start start uh, initializing installing Python for Windows. Okay, so once that's done, um, we'll be able to download our integrated development environment or or what's known as an IDE. All right, uh, there are plenty of IDEs out there that can work with Python. Uh, one of the popular ones is Visual Studio Code. Uh, again, I'll provide all the links in the in the channel or in this video tutorial. Uh, you can head over to code.visualstudio.com slash download and you can get the version of Visual Studio uh, for your operating system. Okay, so I already have this installed. All right. Um, if you don't want to use Visual Studio Code, you can try PyCharm. This is also very popular. They have a community edition, which is free. All right, uh, you can download that as well. It's called PyCharm. Um, so in this case, uh, in this video, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. All right, and uh, let's check the installation. Uh, it should be almost done. Um, in the meantime, just uh, you know, if you already have Python, uh, a prior version, that's fine. Um, again, this video is catered to you know, those who may have never worked with Python before and want to get started quickly. So uh, setup was successful. So my Python's installed on my machine. All right. I'm going to click on close here. Uh, next, what you can do is you can open up your favorite editor. Uh, in my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So if you have that downloaded, uh, you'll see the screen pop up. Now, before you get started, uh, you want to add some plugins or extensions to Visual Studio Code. All right, I'm going to head over to the extensions link here. Uh, I'm going to search for Python. Okay, and once you uh, run Python, you'll have plenty of uh, Python extensions. All right, um, there is a Code Runner here. Uh, I already have that installed. If you don't have it, you can install that. Python Debugger, I have that installed, but Feel free to install all the Python uh, plugins that are useful to you. Um, again, uh, I have most of the Py Python uh, extensions already installed here. Okay, um, so so we can get started. So once you download or ex install your extensions, uh, the next step is uh, this first icon here is your Explorer. So you can see uh, your Explorer. Uh, what I did was I created a uh, let me head over to the terminal. I'll show you. I created a folder for all my Python development, so I can click on View uh, Terminal. Okay, so at the bottom here, uh, you'll see a terminal open. Okay, notice I created a folder called Python Dev under Development. Again, feel free to create your own uh, structure. Uh, a lot of popular ones are C Drive Dev or C Drive Development, or you know Source Repos. Uh, those are common paths in your operating system. So in this case, I created a C colon development um, Python dev. Okay. And uh, in this path here, I'm going to create a new file. So if you click on this icon here, it'll say new file. Okay. And in this file, I'm going to name it hello.py. Okay. Now, py, py, that's the file extension. That's a Python code file. Okay. So I'm going to click on enter and now uh, I can begin writing some sample code so let's try to print out a, a message here okay to the output which is my monitor so I'm going to print out output and say hello 
world. Okay. Um, now notice the syntax. I don't need a, a semicolon or anything to end this line, but uh, let me zoom in here. Control plus here. There we go. Oh. Okay, there we go. So uh, if you want to save the file, just hit Control S. Okay. So now you have a your first Python file. Uh, all it does is print out hello world. Okay. Now if you head over to your terminal, in order to run it, uh, you can just type in Python and then space the name of the file. Okay. And if you hit enter, you'll see the output here, hello world. So this is how simple it is to run your first uh, Python program. Okay. It's a, just a simple one-liner. Um, so just kind of what's happening behind the scenes. Um, now Python, it's not like any other language. For example, C sharp, there's other languages that are uh, object oriented like C sharp, Java, uh, native Java. Uh, in this case, Python is an interpreted language, right? Uh, meaning it runs line by line, okay? All right. And then uh, the version we got is 3.13.1, I believe. Yeah, it's right here at the bottom. And that is the latest version. Uh, just to note, Python, I believe Python 2 uh, is not, you know, officially supported any longer. Uh, but I would just double check the Python homepage and um, any sort of news about what's, you know, what the versions are out that are out there, um, the latest versions. But if you download the latest version, you should be good. This should run. Okay. Um, now, um, you can, now this is just a simple, we just printed out a simple uh, a line, hello world. Uh, Python does have uh, the ability to create variables and different data types, and I'll show you that here. Okay, so for example, um, I can create uh, a variable called my number. Okay, so underscores are allowed. Okay, um, so my number. All right, so this is going to be of type integer. Okay, so we'll say my number equals ten. Okay, so um, in this case. Uh, a basic data type is 10, which is an integer. Okay, I could create a floating type or decimal type number. So my float equals, let's just say it's pi 3.14. Okay, and then I can also create uh, a string uh, data type. Okay, these are the basic data types: an integer 10, um, a float 3.14, and then maybe my string. Okay, just like hello world, that was a string. So my string equals, we can say Python is awesome. Okay. Uh, now we we can print the the same way we printed hello world. We can print all the variables here. We can just say print, and then we can say my number. You can hit the tab. Now notice it in Visual Studio auto complete or find your local variables you created here. Uh, let me do that slowly again. So as soon as I open the print function, okay. So print is a function here. I can open the parentheses. And notice the IntelliSense here is called IntelliSense. It actually tells you the print function, what arguments it takes, um, what what type of values you can put it, put in the arguments, and what it returns back. Okay. In this case, the print function prints the values to a stream, which is an output stream, which is my monitor in this case. All right. So uh, I'm going to print out my number. So notice as soon as I type in my, the variables that were created, the integer 10, the float. 3.14 and the string Python is awesome shows up uh, in the list of variables here. So I can choose my number, hit tab. I can copy this two more times here and change the variables. So my float and then finally my string. Okay. And I'm going to save this. And again, I'm going to run it at my terminal. So again, I can hit the up arrow here to bring back the previous terminal command, okay, python hello.py, hit enter. All right, perfect. So uh, you wrote your first Python program, you installed Python, uh, you installed the your Python IDE or integrated development environment, which is in this case Visual Studio Code. And now we printed out three variables that we created, my number, which is of type integer, my float, which is of type float, and my string, and we printed the three variables. And you'll see it here on your terminal. It first printed out hello world, then it printed out 10, 3.14, and Python is awesome. Thanks for watching. 
in the next video, I'm going to talk about basic syntax and, and more about variables. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.